This episode is brought to you by Zazzle.com. Millions of creators, buyers, and sellers, billions of products. Use our code EVERYDRINK10, save 10% off orders of $50 or more. Welcome to Sunday Night Shooters. I'm your host, Eric Schomer. Today, we're going to make a cocktail called the Harlequin. This recipe comes to us from UG, Eugenio, I believe he... I had it until he put the pronunciation key, then I started to second-guess myself. Um, this is the Harlequin, which is going to be pretty complex, four alcohols, layered. It's really not that hard. But And I have had people ask, what's the trick to layering? Like, they've said, you know, how do I do this? That's cool that you could do it. I'm just a normal dude. <laughs> It's, there's no magic involved. It's all about gravity and layering things in the right order. The spoon. And not drinking too much caffeine before you layer it, because then your hand gets all shaky and you could screw it up. Other than that, it's the... Spoon. Spoon! You need a spoon. Well, you don't need it's a spoon. Rotten flies. I was taking all the, the water from the ice I had in here, chilling my glass. Um, so I've already had these pre-poured. Didn't mention what's in here, though. We're going to start by layering the grenadine. Do you have the zoomer thing for this one, or should I? I may. Okay. So there's the grenadine. Then on top of that, we're going to layer the green creme de menthe. And you could probably layer normal creme de menthe, but it kind of ruins the fun. So I'm going to layer that. Then after that, we're going to layer some blue curacao. And then, oddly enough, the final ingredient, which I've never really seen topped on a layer before, is is a white rum so or light rum however you want to say it the difference is just a few letters um i've i always see vodka on the top i've, I've seen an absinthe on the top it's always like a potency thing but probably because it's more spirit and there's less things that make it float like sh or make it sink like sugar but it's different i like different the blue curacao layers pretty well, but it's a little scary because you can't see it very well throughout when you're when you're pouring it. You can't see the defined placement, but it is perfect. And finally, light rum. Woo, light rum. You could probably use dark rum, but that's not part of the recipe, so don't do it. So when I say probably, I really mean no. You can't. Yeah, you probably can. Don't. It probably has a different weight, so you probably can't. That's true, it might. So what you get is very fine layers. One, two, three, four. The blue curacao doesn't look like it takes up any space. This thing is full to the top, so any little shake, and I'm finished. How's it look? Pretty awesome. Pretty cool. No talent. Spectacular. All about spoon and careful pouring. I promise you there's no special magic. So you've already tried this, huh? <laughs> it's photoshopped. I shopped it. All right, here we go. You had this one already? <laughs> You're asking me like you don't know. You handed it to me. Can we just play this like it's scripted? <laughs> um, not as much burn as you suggested. Initial burn. Well, you've had alcohol taint yeah, your palate, so. That's probably true. Um, it's got a nice minty finish. Not getting too much of the blue curacao. Maybe that was there for effect. Even there is a little sweetness, but when you've got the mint playing and you've got a little overbalance of that, of the rum where you're getting that almost sensation of, you know, it's a core spirit. It's like, it's rum. It's going to have a little burn to it, and it's going to be pretty pretty tasty. But you've got this super sweet grenadine. You've got the mint, and then these other guys, somehow they play in a way where it's sweet, but you can't detect what is the sweetness. Is it the mintiness? Is it the grenadine? I don't know. It, it works well together, but it there's a definite finish that is minty. You're going to feel after you drink this like you just might have had a mint. So, but it's not over minty. Like, you didn't get it, you didn't feel like it was like too much mint, did you? No, not really. 
No, I don't it think was it, just it was mint. Like you knew you drank mint. It's the right amount of mint, regardless of the fact that there's equal portions of spirits in here. One quarter ounce. If you want, if you have a bigger shot glass, you could do a half ounce. If you could put a whole ounce, if you want to put it in like a low ball glass. I don't know where you're going with that, but you can. Um, overall, tasty. Ends with mint. I like mint. I can handle that. I like everydaydrinkers.tv. You can go there. Thank you, Eugenio, for that recipe. And uh, we're teaching you how to drink. 